begin with some breaking news on the broadcast that we are receiving and this is an update on the Rohini school blast case. Uh, now, CNN News 18 has access exclusive images of the aftermath of the Delhi blast. Now, due to the intensity of the blast, the tiles and glass of the toilet of a neighboring building were completely shattered is what we are learning. That was the high intensity blast that was reported out of a school in Rohini in Delhi and we are also now learning that the impact of the blast was so much that the neighboring building also in fact had seen uh, a damaged uh, broken window of a toilet uh, that was close to that area of the blast. So it was near that school but the impact was really uh, something that uh, people saw in various other places which were close to that school building and that is how this becomes a a very very uh, important issue we're talking about a security breach in the national capital and that to a school uh, in question over here uh, it is a Sunday nonetheless and the holiday season is also uh, almost started with the festivals uh, really around the corner but uh, of course uh, this is a huge security breach because here we are talking about uh, school and also how this area which is close to uh, certain market complexes in Rohini uh, also would have proved detrimental to a lot of people who might have assembled here on a Sunday morning for their daily chores and also for some shopping or just plain eating because that's also a eating spot, a hot spot there in uh, the national capital where people usually go for their breakfast. My colleague Yash is with us who's been uh, following that uh, story from uh, the very onset. Yash, uh, now we are learning that the impact of the blast was so much that it ended up uh, eventually going ahead and uh, shattering the glass panes of a toilet of a building which was close by. What are you learning through your sources when it is about uh, the way this investigation is now going to proceed and also the angles that the Delhi police and also uh, the special commandos are really looking at when it is about this particular blast near the school in Rohini? Uh, well, Griha, at this juncture, all the possible angles are being explored by multiple agencies. It's not just the Delhi police now. In fact, we've been reporting since morning that how um, uh, different agencies have been roped in for this very in investigation, including uh, the National Security Guard, uh, the National Investigation Agency, that, that is the NIA. And uh, right now also, uh, if I can show you the visuals from here, uh, continuously uh, that very um, work by the NSG commandos is also um, underway. Well, some teams of the the NSG and other um, forces have actually left the spot after collecting the evidence. In fact, the special unit of NSG which was here with all the high-tech equipment to actually assess the kind of evidences which they had gathered, gathered from the very spot, uh, that particular team has left the spot. But still, um, it seems that uh, uh, the agencies over here, the force over here are still uh, looking at, uh, um, uh, looking at uh, some uh, certain things uh, in terms of evidences. We also reported that uh, sources within the Delhi police has indicated to CNN News 18 uh, that uh, a white powder-like substance is being investigated. In fact, okay. when we reached to the spot and uh, when we were reporting earlier in the morning, uh, there were a number of spots uh, um, with that white powder and that was collected. In fact, some wire pieces have also been collected from this very spot. But okay. whether those very uh, things used were used for that very blast um, is yet to be ascertained officially. But still, the investigation is underway and now the forensics will play its part in it. Right. Also, so far, what you're learning, uh, Yash, because you have been speaking to various people who uh, probably stayed close by, the locals in the area. What did they really experience when the blast took place? Uh, what is it that they have described before you? See, if we look at the chronology and if we say by, uh, if we go by what the people around this area have said is that around 7.40 is the time uh, or 7.35, around that time only, um, they heard this very blast. In fact, we spoke to a security guard also who was stationed just near to the, this very crime spot where this blast had actually uh, taken place. He said that uh, um, around 7.40 is the time when this blast happened and just post that uh, there was a haze all around, there was a smoke all around and in fact this entire area 
was engulfed within the smoke. And in fact, we got those visuals also, uh, exclusive visuals for, uh, also for our viewers, where it's clearly visible how there was a cloud of smoke which actually had appeared uh, at this very area. Uh, uh, so the impact, the kind of impact uh, this blast had was very high. In fact, once again, I'll uh, give you a glimpse uh, out here how uh, we've been um, uh, we've been seeing these boards since morning, and in fact, we are showing these boards to our viewers also how uh, the damage has been. Um, so high that uh, these boards are shattered. In fact, nearby cars have been affected and also uh, we've been mentioning uh, that uh, nearby homes have also been affected. Uh, well, I can also tell you that, Griha, a lot of people came here approximately from a kilometer or a kilometer, um, kilometer and a half away from this very spot and they also had said that they had heard a very loud explosion. Earlier, they uh, thought that uh, it's Diwali around the corner, somebody must be bursting crackers. But once uh, they heard the kind of intensity this blast had, um, then they realized that th this, this is not something uh, related to crackers or something like that, but it was a blast which had taken place. Now at this okay. very juncture, the most important thing remains to be um, the cause of the blast, which will actually ascertain why this thing has happened here in the national capital and in particular in the Rohini area. Okay, Yash, I'd request you to stay on with us. 